Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and this is Pedaling Forward 365. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and little bell icon so you stay notified. We are continuing our Sicily travel vlog and today we are heading out to Alcantara Gorge. Okay, so first to get to Elkintara Gorge, we are going to catch the bus and you have to catch the bus from the Giardini Noxos bus terminal. Now, if you're staying in Terramina, um, you'll have to take the bus from Terramina down to the bus station in Giardini Noxos and the bus does not run as often. So as always, I will put the website down below, but um, you pay for the ticket at the bus terminal itself, not on the bus. And when you're at the bus terminal, you can actually go ahead and buy your entrance ticket to uh, the park. Now, if you're going to be body rafting, you're gonna need to hold off, just buy your bus ticket, and then we'll buy the ticket at the park itself. But if you are just gonna go to the park and hang out and you just wanna enjoy the water, and the ruins well hold off on getting that ticket because i'm going to explain to you how to get in for free but first let's just jump on our bus and head out to the park okay you guys so now that we are at the park um the entrance to get into the park is pretty simple now uh, once you pay the entrance fee, you can also go to the Botanic Gardens. Now, they have a whole list of other activities that you can do. And if you are going to do any of these other activities, uh, the price of the activity also gets you in to the park for free not free because it's part of the cost but um, you don't have to pay the entrance fee and then the additional cost uh, to go body rafting or trekking. And if you are just gonna want to go and check out uh, the water and have a nice relaxing day well I'm gonna put the map up here and there is a uh, path that leads to a long stairway and if you'd want to get in for free if you take the stairs you can get into the gorge for free now you can't get into the botanic gardens or anything but you do have to take the stairs now when you pay there is an elevator that goes up and down because it is a very large canyon um area i paid so i didn't have to take the steps but um yeah save some money get some exercise in Okay, you guys, so now that you have gotten a sneak peek of what the gorge looks like, it is time for us to go get suited up and ready to go body rafting. I am still not quite sure what body rafting is, but I know that we have to wear a wetsuit because this water, you guys, is so cold. It is runoff from Etna. So even though it is a hundred degrees outside with humidity in the middle of July, uh, it is mandatory that we wear wetsuits because um, we'll get hypothermia. Um, we will be in the water for around three hours. Now we have to trek into the canyon further up and then we body raft out of it. So I will see you guys inside the canyon. <laughs>
Okay, you guys. Oh my God, that was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know below, what do you guys like to do um, for adventures on your trips? And out of a one to five difficulty, I definitely would give this about a three. The rocks are very, very slippery. Um, so trekking through them is a little difficult, but you do have your guides there to help you. And was it worth the money? absolutely um i didn't think it was too overly priced either it was around 45 euros um for the activity itself and that also included being able to get into the park now we continue this travel vlog next week and we head off to etna so don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and until next time, guys, keep pedaling forward.